Good morning, you complex carrying cardinals of Farmington High School. Today is Friday, October 4th, and you're watching the Early Bird. I'm Carter Bunn. And I'm, today for lunch, we're going to be having either a cheeseburger or a hot dog. The U.S. Senate Youth Program for juniors and seniors are available inside the counselor's office right now. An exam and an interview will be required for the participation. You must attend the Washington Week Program from March 7th through 14th of 2020. The Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Organization is sponsoring leadership conferences for sophomores. You can get information from the website shown on the screen or from previous attendees. If you want to attend, make sure to complete and turn in your applications today to Ms. Norsworthy. Fields of Faith will be on October 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Cardinal Stadium. Food and, food and games will be available from 6 to 7, and speakers and events will be from 7 to 8. The speakers will be Ronnie Hucke Huckabee and Ron Harris. Yearbooks are still on sale. They're on their cheapest price at $40 until October 25th. You can get more information from Ms. Bunsgaard. The Yoga Club will meet today in both lunches in Ms. Houston's room. Attention all NHS members. Your next meeting will be on October 9th at 7.30 or during the lunch in Ms. Rogers' room. The fall project and new member inductions are on the agenda. The JBU Computer Science Department is sponsoring a Computer Science Academy. It will be an AP program focusing on the basics of programming. The cost will be $100 and will be on Saturdays between October 5th and November 23rd. If you want more information, see the counselor or use the link provided on the screen. DECA will meet in Ms. Gates' room on Tuesday, October 15th at 7.30 or during first lunch. If you cannot make this date, see Ms. Gates. Seniors, make sure you register for the Selective Service Registration before your 18th birthday. It only takes 45 seconds, and it's required by law. There are many, many lost benefits for not signing up. Finally, here's a quote to ponder upon. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Napoleon Hill. Thank you, Farmington. Now it's time for what you have been waiting for, your Farmington weekend weather and the best meteorologist you know, Reed Petrie. Reed Petrie. Well, thank you for all those kind adjectives. I'm your weatherman, Reed Petrie, and I have a bit of a sore throat and a cold this week, but that's all due to the changing fall weather. This weekend will continue to feel like autumn is starting to fall upon us. As you can see, today's high is 77 with a low all the way down at 59. Not really much of a chance of rain today. It'll be mostly clear. Saturday, however, will have a high of 79 and a low of 58. There will be a pretty decent chance of rain that will start uh, at night on Saturday, and that will lead to Sunday, wh where we have a high of 65 all the way down in the mid-60s due to the substantial chance of rain and thunderstorms. Also, next week looks amazing with highs just reaching 70 degrees, and that's it. Have a great, somewhat rainy weekend, everybody. Now it's time for sports with Brody Hill. Thanks, Reed, and yes, I'm Brody Hill, and this is Card Center. Tuesday, your Volley Cards played the Shallow Christian Saints at home. The Cardinals went on to win in three sets, making them undefeated in conference play. Your Cardinal girls golf team plays fourth in the 4A state golf tournament. Bailey Kuzak also went on to be named All-State in 4A girls golf. Your Cardinal football team played Clarksville in a very exciting game with a final score of 22-21, with a game-winning field goal and interception to put, away, put it away. Here's some highlights from that game. Your Cardinals travel to Alma to take on the Airedales in a 5A West Conference matchup. Your Cardinals are coming to the game undefeated, while the Airedales are coming into the game with a record of 0-4, losing to Valonia with a score of 36-8 last week. 
The Cardinals have never beaten the Airedales with their time in the 5A West, but this year could change that completely. Well, I'm Brody Hill, and you guys have been watching Card Center. Make sure if you can't make it to the game to tune in at Farm Cards Live on YouTube. You guys have an awesome Friday and a wonderful weekend. Now I'd like to send it to Cooking with Cards. I'm Mariah. Where, where's Charlie? Uh, she told me to do it. I don't know where she is. Wait, here, I'll call her. Okay. Charlie, where are you? We're filming the cooking show right now. Oh, she told me to put her on speaker. Okay. Never again. And she hung up. Thanks anyway, so hello, Farmington. Please don't yell. And welcome back to the best cooking show. Today we will be making mug cakes, mug cakes, mug cakes. Mug cakes. Perfect for any occasion. Maybe an indoor tailgate. A warm cake is great for rainy weather. To make this, you will need two tablespoons of butter and one fourth of a cup of flour. One and large egg yolk. Not a small one. Two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of your favorite sprinkles. First, place the butter into a mug and microwave until melted. Then add all the remaining ingredients except for the sprinkles and mix together with a fork. After it's mixed, you can stir in sprinkles. Okay, well that didn't happen. So but it's fine because the meticulous planning and forethought. Wait, no, 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 no. And voila! Doesn't these look absolutely delicious? They sure do. I don't think we'll be able to finish this by ourselves, though. Hi guys. Hi. Anch anchoring. Sure it sure is, is hard. Sure is hard, yeah, man. It's really oh my god. Is that <laughs> mug cake? Whoa, but I love mug cake. But me too, dude. Yeah, is, is that some mug cake? Is that cake? Yeah. Why? Can we consume it? Uh, after all, can we have some? After all, anchoring is really hard work. Yeah, it, it's, it's really hard, all right? You don't not know it. Well, give yeah. us a bite. Give, give us a bite. Give us a bite! Okay, okay fine. Take a bite. Don't mind if I do. I just share the same fork, apparently. No, you got a fork. <laughs> you got a fork. Uh, yeah. The one that's like with like the raw eggs on this one. Mm. Oh, well, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll just use this side of the spoon. So like this. See, yeah. see, safety first always, kids. Hey, um. That's actually really good. It is very good. Yeah, um, yeah I, I wasn't expecting that, to be really honest. Uh, <laughs> is that mug cake? Yeah, we just said that. We're allergic to mud cake. I'm allergic to mud cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we can learn a lesson here. Thank you, Farmington, and don't eat anything that could kill you.
Yeah. We challenge Mr. Perry and the Elf cast for next week. Woo! Everybody. Woo!